Armored Core Law, Chemical Dying Co. A small corporation that solves the crisis of the food in the underground cities, only then to create a monster that threatens to destroy these cities. This is Chemical Dying Co. History. Although we have no official date that this corporation is formed, since Chrome and Murakuma did not achieve total power over the underground till ED0130, it is in this year or before that it is possible this company was formed. Still, it is from page 104 of the Armored Core official data book where we find that this biochemical manufacturer, main business, is the production of synthetic food products based on biotechnology. However, the company is also active in the areas of research, development, and production of drugs, most of this able to be done thanks to their affiliation with Chrome. A fact so well known that in Armored Core 1, Art will even share this with the Raven in an email, which states, In addition, it is a known fact that Chrome has been a major factor in their development through joint venture relationships. In truth, what this company is, is a subsidiary of Chrome, and it explains why the two have such a relationship, and how this company could afford to do the research, development, and production of food and drugs. However, even with such a powerhouse behind them, it seems chemical dying does not have the best reputation. As again, going back to R's emails on the company, it states, There are many things about the chemical dying co that make it hard for someone to say it is a company with a good reputation. Although it has achieved a solid position as a biochemical manufacturer, the rumours of dangerous experiments and chemicals refuse to be quelled. These dangerous experiments, however, have come at Chrome's request, as going back to the Armored Core official data book, page 104 again, it reads, In recent years, Chrome has sponsored the research and development of new type products. These new type products would remain unknown for a while, until the war between Chrome and Murakuma started. The starting point for this discovery comes from a mission, Destroy Fuel Depot, where Murakuma requests the Raven to create a diversion so that their survey team can investigate a chemical dying co lab, where they suspect a certain research is taking place by Chrome demands. This diversion comes in the form of attacking a fuel depot, adjacent to the lab, and blowing up all of the fuel tanks inside. It's during this that the survey team will enter the lab and the Raven will have to escape after all the tanks are blown up. The Raven does this without much trouble, and it seems the Murakuro team is able to do their task as well. However, it is not shown in Armored Core 1, but this depot is in fact very important to the lab, as shown in Armored Core Nexus, in a what-if mission where the Raven works for chemical dynes to protect the depot. Again, while not shown in Armored Core 1, if we look at Armored Core Nexus, this successful attack on the depot would lead to Chemical Dines Co. sending a single unmarked transport vehicle across the Dawn Bridge, a bridge believed to be connected, or a route, to Gal City, a presumed Murakuma-owned city. It is after this mission is complete that text will roll up reading, A few days after, an unidentified transport passed through Gal City. Its citizens were besieged by an unknown organism. This could be when the Raven of Armored Core 1 is offered a mission by Gal City guards, exterminate organisms in the Gal City office district. It reads as follows. This is the Gal City Guard. Our city is now occupied by unknown giant organisms. I don't even know if organism is right, but I've never seen anything like them before. Our citizens have suffered many casualties from the animal horde. We have no way of fighting back. A biological analyst of their behavior patterns show a shosu-like structure much like that of ants or bees. There must be a queen somewhere that directs the swarm. Investigators found an unfamiliar hole in the wall of the Osage district, so this might be the beast's nest. Your mission is to find and destroy the queen. If you can take out the leader, the swarm will become disorganized and we can take it from there. We are counting on you. It's on this mission that the Raven will notice that without a biosensor on their AC, they cannot target these creatures invading the city. It's a new foe for all Ravens and guards. However, the Raven is able to kill the creature's queen, which allows the Gal City guards to clean up the remains. Though these organisms are never given a name in-game, if we look at the book Armored Core 10 Works Complete File, we can find on page 25 a small box that will tell us about these creatures and their names. The small organisms are called Warrior Bugs, while the Queen organisms are called Centurion Bugs. Still, moving back to Armored Core 1, this event would cause R to email the Raven again this time regarding the attacking organisms. 
Calm is gradually returning to the streets in wake of this disturbance caused by the giant organisms. The search for missing persons goes on. You may have already noticed this, but those things were in no way organisms. They are undeniably weapons disguised as organisms. From the looks of things, it appears that this outbreak was really a field exercise to test a new weapon. Such a large-scale testing could only have been done by Mirakuma or Chrome, so one of the two must be behind it. Regardless of which it is, I feel it would not be long before we see the confrontation between the two come to head. And R would not be wrong, for soon the Raven would get a mission from Murakuma Millennium, Release Organisms. We have uncovered the true nature of the mysterious organisms that appeared in Gal City. They are not organisms, but rather a type of biological weapon. They were developed by Chemical Dying Co., a biochemical manufacturer allied with Chrome. They were lax in telling the truth and taking responsibility for the incident. This is your mission. Break into Chemical Dying Research Facility, search for the biochemical weapons and release all of them upon discovery. The facility is certain to have a considerable number of test subjects. Releasing them all will cause the facility to collapse. This will cause much damage to Chrome. This may seem like a dirty trick, but is the most effective method to stop Chrome from running amok. Naturally, do not bother the biological weapons. This will all take place in Chemical Dying Lab Number 4, where the Raven will release these organisms, allowing them to spread throughout the lab and breed. This, in turn, as Murakumo suggests, would cause the lab to collapse, leaving Chemical Dying no choice but to unknowingly hire the very Raven who let these creatures out to now wipe them all out. It's here it seems that the company would go into hiding, as the war between Murakuma and Chrome now reached a point where both are openly attacking each other. This company is guessed to either have fallen alongside Chrome, or, as stated in the mission, mop up Chrome remains. Murakuma will control and inspect the remaining assets of Chrome, so they can be reused appropriately later. This, however, is where the path of history splits, as this outcome is only if Chrome is the corporation to fall. If, however, Merakuma Millennium is the corporation to fall, it would seem Chemical Dying Co. would remain until Chrome's breakdown, leading to the Great Depth War. Could this company have been one of the many in this Great Depth War? Possibly, but how they would have fared is never seen or wrote about. In the end, it seems a company that once solved the hunger of the underground cities went too far playing God, and paid the price. Here ends the report on the company known as Chemical Dines Co. What? Another one? Hey, Paul. What's a top-ranked arena AC doing here? I heard you've been looking for me. I don't care who you are. No one can defeat 